when you are there, you are in a little bubble. You forget everything. You, for, you don't know the time. You don't know, really know what day it is unless you ask. Be yourself. Say what you want to say. But careful. For something like Love Island, you can't prepare yourself for it. It's just such a mental experience. For me, prior, I was watching it on the TV, and now I'm walking in, you've got cameras all over you, you just think, well, this is it's, it's a completely new experience. Just be yourself. If you go in trying to be someone, it's really hard to keep up a persona, and the public do see through it, and you have to remember you are on TV. Be open-minded and be yourself, because as much as that might portray a bad character at one point, it's always going to come back around if you are a good person. You have to make sure that you already love yourself, that you know exactly who you are, and no matter what anybody says about you, that the people close to you know who you are and that you know who you are, and it's irrelevant. Make sure you're in a good place before you go in, because I think if you have any sort of mental health issues or anything like that, it's not the place for you anyway. Like, I'm just going to be honest and say that. Be very, very careful about why you're doing the show. I was happy before the show, I'm just happy afterwards. I don't think being famous has made me any happier. If anything, there was more risk of it making me unhappy. If you're thinking about going in for it for fame, don't do it. You shouldn't be waking up every day going, oh, I want to be a reality TV star because it's really not healthy. Try not to get too wrapped up in the whole like TV and reality kind of lifestyle. You can come out to five million followers, but each and every single one of them could hate you. Yeah, it's cool to have like friends and it's cool to have like people that you don't know, like looking at your pictures and that kind of stuff. But life is more about the connections you have off of social media than the connections you have on it. I, I went on there with the idea that, you know, maybe I'd like nick a few followers and you know, <laughs> come out and, and like have 15 minutes of fame and then go back to doing what I was doing before. And you know, anything else was gonna be a massive bonus. I think you can't go in there and expect your life to stay the same. It is overnight success. And the deal with overnight success is, is very hard because you went from living one life. It's not like a, a singer or an actor when it was plugging away and they've dreamt about it for years and years and they finally got their break and they was kind of prepared for it. Just expect that things are gonna be very different. You can't pick up and put down fame. You can't choose when you do wanna be noticed and when you're not noticed. But it is quite a competitive world as well. Everyone's fighting for a, a bit of the cake, I say. Be cautious. You know, don't put all your eggs in one basket and think you're going to be, think you're going to be sort of top of the tree. You view it as a cycle, like you have your time, you, you go, uh, you do the appearances, you have everyone in the street recognised and you're asking for photos. Until it gets to like, it starts to get six months, nine months, it, it withers down. It doesn't last for everyone. Be happy in the life that you're living now because it, it's not guaranteed that you know, you're not going to have to go back to it. When you come off the show, make sure you keep the same friendship group. Those are the people that were with you, uh, your day ones or whatever they call it. Um, I hate that phrase, but it's true. I think that it's really important to stay grounded um, and just remember who your friends are. Don't get pulled in different directions by um, so-called best friend, new best friends that are with you since you're famous. What I would say to you, if you want to do it just for an experience, a lifetime experience, go for it. And it was definitely one of the best experiences of my life and I wouldn't change it for the world. It was a gift that was given to me and I took it and it was like, I loved it. Enjoy every minute of it because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity.